Well, hi, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of 1025, your video encouragement in the midst of the coronavirus. And this week, it's confirmation week. Well, at least it was supposed to be. And so since we're postponing our celebrations, I thought I'd do some scripture shout outs for some of our students. So I'll share our verse in a moment, but first let me just ask you, how are you doing right now? Like, how are you feeling? You know, I've asked a lot of people that question over the last couple of weeks and I get responses ranging from, you know, I'm just kind of confused by what's going on right now. I'm tired, I'm overwhelmed, I'm worried. I'm a little bit more agitated by everything. And you take all of those responses and, and really I believe it boils down to one central emotion that we're struggling with right now. And that's anxiety. Which brings us to our scripture shout out. This one today is for Carson and Sawyer and it's from 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Cast all of your anxiety on him because he cares for you. I think this breaks down into three different main sections. First of all, it talks about our concerns. Those things that, that make us anxious. You know, what is it for you right now? What are some of your concerns? What are your, some of your anxieties in the midst of the COVID-19 crisis. You know, it's different for everybody. Some people right now, this is like day two of distance learning and uh, you're a little bit overwhelmed. Like, I don't know, what is this gonna look like? Some of you, you're concerned about our economy. You're concerned because you see the stock market tanking and you see your retirement investments dwindling away. And so what is this gonna mean for you? Some of you, you're, you're concerned because you're more vulnerable. You're at risk of contracting the disease, uh, the virus, or you have somebody else in your family who is a higher risk and, and you're concerned about them. All of us right now have different concerns. So what do we do with those anxious thoughts? That's the second thing. We cast it. And here, this whole image of, of casting means that, that you throw something. It's like when you go fishing. So this is from the book of 1 Peter. So Peter is writing this. Peter is a fisherman, and, and he understands casting. Maybe not in the same way that we cast today. And I know a, a few of you, you're starting to get anxious. The days are getting nicer. And as we get into May, it's the fishing opener, and you're going to be doing a lot of casting. But in the first century world, casting your nets meant that you took a, the, this massive pile of nets and you threw it out of the boat into the sea. And this is what God invites us to do, to take that massive pile of burdens that all of us have and just to, just to throw it out, to throw it over to him. Which brings us to the third portion of this text. And that's the fact that God cares for us. And I love what Peter is doing here because he's shifting the focus from everything that we're up against and all of the concerns that we have and really anxiety centers around all of these what ifs. Like what if this happens? I'm not sure about this. This is an unknown for me. And certainly we're living in a time where there's a lot of unknowns. But then he shifts the focus to who is the one who remains for us? Who is the one who remains in control when everything seems to be out of control in our life? Who is the one who cares for us? And that's God. You know, I love what Jesus does in one of his sermons. This is in Matthew chapter 6, and he's talking about anxiety. He says, just look at the birds. Have you done that lately? Have you just paused to listen to the birds? 
you know, I was out this morning walking over here to church and, and the birds are just chirping away. And it was a beautiful cacophony in my ears. And it reminded me that God's still in control, that there's good, that life goes on, even when things have come to a standstill within our country. You know, right now, I, I wonder what the birds are thinking. I wonder what concerns they have. You know, my guess is they're not concerned about COVID-19. They're just going about their day. And what would it look like for us just to stop today and, and to listen to the birds? I know we're told to stay at home, but that doesn't mean you can't go outside. You can't go out on your deck. You can't open your window. Today is supposed to be another beautiful day. So here's my invitation to you. Get outside, observe the birds, and realize that God takes care of them. Won't he also take care of us? So how are you doing today? I invite you to leave a comment below. Just, just be honest about where you're at. Are you tired? Are you overwhelmed? Are you a little bit agitated right now? Are you just confused by a lot of what's happening? Here's my simple invitation to you then. Cast all your anxiety on him. Because he cares. He cares for you. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.